Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode from Ampro Engineering. This is a RC four-wheel drive Trail Finder 2. This is a set of body mounts for the Trail Finder 2 with the Mojave body, which is this Toyota Hilux body. Those of you who own the Trail Finder 2 know that in order to remove the body, you have to remove these two screws, two additional ones on the other side, two body pins here at the rear, and then the body will come off. Unfortunately, this is not a brilliant solution to access the battery, so oftentimes you'll see people put like a toolbox in the bed to hide the battery or cut a hole in the bed. All acceptable alternatives. I've also seen people use a long set screw to simply thread that in there, use a little bit of thread lock to lock it in place, and then you simply have to spread the body open a little bit to drop it over the shaft and that will hold the body in place. Well, what I did with this car here, and you see this in an earlier episode, is we have a special body mount set. If we flip it over, not only gives the appearance of a floorboard, but will allow the body to actually drop into place, slot down and slide backwards to lock it in. This is gonna be fine for this vehicle here because there's no brush guard, but because the body mount actually has to be pushed forward and then back to get it to slot, you can't have any kind of grill guard in the front. And therefore we created this version over here, which allows this little stud, once you snap these little guys off, it will simply drop into this hole like that. This will allow a body pin to slot right through there. So you can just drop it on, put the one body pin through here, and you're all set. However, if you own a long wheelbase Trail Finder 2, I've got you covered also. This version over here, which is the, gonna be the version that we're focusing on in this video, will require us to use some flush cutters and snip the ends off right there. I'm gonna cut it nice and clean. And the last one is a fairly large. We wanna paint these because I don't want them in white. But what we also want to do is clean out these holes here. You're going to want to use a 2.6 millimeter drill bit and then tap the entire thing with an M3 tap. The reason why you need to tap the entire thing is that the screw that goes into this is going to be part of the structural member of the body. So we're going to put a fairly long screw in here and it's going to be way easier if you simply tap this ahead of time. On this side here, You'll also want to tap these two screws again with an M3 tap and pre-drill them with a 2.6 millimeter drill bit. You've also got the holes here for the body pins that you'll want to clean that out with a 1 to 1.2 millimeter drill bit and you should be good to go there. I'm going to go ahead and do that to all four of these pieces, paint them black and then install them in the car. After some low gloss black paint, here we are. I did some very light sanding on this face here, as well as the corresponding face. And that's simply because I was concerned that there might be some binding on these two faces. They are designed to have a gap right there, but I figured better safe than sorry. I'll do my best to get this sucker in the picture. Please, just for the time being, ignore the fact that this does have the longer bed and not the short bed that the crew cab should have. We'll cover that in an upcoming video. I'm going to use my MIP nut driver here to remove the body. And what I'm doing right now is basically what has to be done every single time the body has to come off. So I'll take off all four of these screws. Once all four are off, you can pull the body pins in the rear and the body should lift straight off. To install these, the installation really can't be simpler. You have both of these panels here that will bolt to the chassis. It's gonna be pretty hard to install the wrong ones on each side because you have these little notches here which corresponds to these screw heads. So you'll see that this one here lines up with the body mount posts and will simply thread into place right there. So take off all four of the factory posts and then we can thread these in. You will have to pull the transmission to remove the front ones. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, once the transmission is out of the way, you can just grab these body posts and screw them right out. The overall length from the back of this wall to the front is 26 millimeters and the chassis thickness is seven. So basically something as long as 30 millimeters is gonna be acceptable here. As long as you tap the entire hole, we are almost ready to put the side body mounts onto the chassis, but before we do that, we have to cut off these little extensions on this plate. For those of you familiar with how I like to design things, making modifications that are irreversible always bothers me. But unfortunately, given the fact that these really aren't used on this body, and the fact that I simply couldn't figure out a way to make these, you know, live harmoniously together, I'm sure it's possible to 
chop this thing up a little bit, but it's just going to make this main mount that much weaker. So for my application, I'm going to cut both of these off of this plate. Go ahead and mount the side chassis rail. The chassis body mounts have been installed and you can see that this little chamfer lines up very nicely with this plate here so that it helps to guide the body pins in place. Speaking of the body, I went ahead and installed these on the body. It's going to be very simple. You will use the standard body mounting holes that the truck originally used. However, on the inside, you'll simply install the Ampro mounts. Like the chassis mounts, these cannot be installed backwards because you've got this little notch right here, if you can see that. That clears the geometry from the bed. I've got these motor wires running exactly where the body post should be. So I'm going to zip tie these out of the way so that they won't get caught. And then we'll drop the body on. Okay, now that all of the body mounting locations are free and clear of any kind of wires, we can go ahead and just line up the rear body posts, like so. And this body should simply drop right in place, like that. We can flip it over, and now we can put in the cotter pins. All right, we've got four cotter pins that will just go straight in here. For speed's sake, maybe you only want to use the front ones, but if you're not running a bed, you are going to have to use all four. And that's kind of the beauty of this design is that the body mounts will still work even if you're not running the bed. All installed, put this guy back over, and give it a good shake in, and I think we're okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the bed pins back in, but like I said, this is, I don't know, this to me I think is gonna be pretty useful. If we can flip it back over, we wanna pull the battery out, just pull out these body pins here. And then flip it. And then, oh, whoops, it's going to be falling off here. There you go. Now that does complete the installation, but before I let you go, I did want to address something. This is the four door interior set for the Mojave. This is compatible. As you can see, that the overall depth of the door panel, if I line it up over here, is significantly shorter than the overall depth of the door the interior body mounts only come up to right about here so as you can see that once this is installed you've got nearly 20 millimeters perhaps 15 millimeters of clearance well folks that does complete the installation on this vehicle we will be seeing a little bit more of this truck in the coming future because it's going to get painted pretty soon and the interior set and on and on so i'm really looking forward to getting this thing all wrapped up thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you soon